The Toro Super 800 is another one of those just super solid heads, you know, up there in the echelon of some of the best heads ever made. Um, and we know this just because they just last and last and last. And I know everybody has preferences about who they like, Toro or Rainbird or Hunter or whatever. But um, we've got to give credit where credit's due. And most of these manufacturers have made really good heads. And the Toro Super 800 is no exception. Fantastic head. Really smooth operation. They've done well. They're starting to get old. This head's been discontinued for a while now. Um, I don't think you can even get any more online. I did a little search trying to find them. And so let's look at the um, a picture of the top here. The, the really neat thing about this is, is that it's got a really simple arc adjustment. Okay, the left limit is fixed. So we're going to be adjusting the right limit. And as you see, right in the middle of the head is a screwdriver slot. Okay, and um, in the video, I'm going to show you me adjusting that with a little Rainbird tool, but truly you should use a screwdriver that's a little bit wider and a little bit thicker. Sometimes those really small Rainbird tools or act the actual Toro tool, which is the same size, will harm this or kind of strip out this little bit of plastic right here in the middle. Okay, as we're looking at that, you can see that there's an arrow on there and it points to the arc and it's got printed. You may not be able to tell from this picture. Of, obviously, this is a really old head, but it's printed on there 90, 180, 270, and 360 so that you can pretty much dry set this or set it while it's running pretty quickly because you have a visual indicator of what the pattern is going to be. Now, it may not be exactly what you think it's going to be, and that's why we always look and watch, and after we make a, an adjustment, we go back and watch it, sometimes as it hits its limit twice. Okay, this is the Super 800 running, and it's just running super slow because it's, a, it's an old head. And so I twist it back and forth to the right and left, but with this head, as in pretty much any rotor, that you, when you're checking it, you can twist the top of the turret around and see pretty roughly where that limit is going to stop. But if, you, if you're getting precise, if you're in an area that's right up against concrete, you know, at the edge of the, the turf and the sidewalk or street, you want to be pretty precise. So I always twist it around about 75% of the way and then let the gears carry it the rest of the way. So here you see me adjusting that right arc. All right, brought it in a little bit there. And so um, I'm going to allow it just to catch and check that right limit. And obviously you can shorten the radius by running the screw down in there. And I've taken the top off of this uh, particular head here just to peer down in there and you realize that all of these heads have little uh, rubber pieces that fit over the top to protect the gear sets and the adjustment gears on those. A few more words about the 800, the Super 800. You know, I've, I've pulled the, um, the rubber cap off of here and it's got little nubs that fit down inside the holes here. All you got to do is just line up the arrow with the, um, the nozzle retention screw here and Make sure you're all right and pop that back down in there. And those are good. And if you, uh, as you're doing maintenance and you see these peeled back, it's good to get down in there and clean that out and pop these back down on there so it keeps the dirt out of there. Otherwise, you're going to get dirt packing down inside of these adjustment gear sets. And either it's going to strip out the, the plastic fittings, the plastic slot. Um, so just one of the things that you do during your maintenance. But a few more things about it. Just like the T5, this has a, a five inch pop up out of the body. The um, This one has a part circle. Obviously, we can go between 90, I think actually this one's really 45 degrees, 40 degrees and 360, I believe is the range here, 40 degrees to 360. And so you've got part circle and full circle. If you take it all the way to 360, it's going to do a continuous uh, 360 in that head. And um, it's got what's called the Smart Arc Memory. And it's a mechanism in here that while it's running, if something happens and this head gets twisted out of its normal rotation, it'll slip past that and fall back into its adjusted set, its adjusted pattern, which is really great if, you know, you have kids messing with these things or, you know, if they're in high traffic areas. Again, I've said this before. I mean, if you're, if you're running systems, if you manage systems that are in high traffic areas, you shouldn't be having these things running at all during the times that there's any pedestrians around, any foot traffic, because you get into liability issues. So if, if you have an issue with vandalism, then maybe you ought to be running your system 
early in the morning before the sun comes up and you may avoid some of those issues.